Welcome to the first episode of Tooling in Real Life, where I give you advice in for real life where you can use to become a more productive person in general.、Um, a lot of these videos are going to be about geared towards developers. So, but a lot of concepts you can use to apply to your field of expertise. So in this first video, I'm going to go over a developer's guide to a productive morning routine. Now, this is a personal routine that I've been following for about a year or two now, and it has helped me become a more productive person in general, and it has also helped me grow in different areas of my life. So I would like to share with you what I do every day. To you know, to that I the routine that I follow to make myself a better, more productive person. So to get started, the first thing that you need to do is to wake up early. Now this is a simple thing on paper, but it's really hard to do. If you're not a morning person, this is going to be extremely hard.、Um, I wasn't a morning person, so this takes me a while to get used to. So you have to wake up at 6 a.m. This is a really early time for a lot of people, but it's it's,、uh, it's time that you can use to do a lot of work and, and accomplish a lot of things by trading off、um, the nighttime, your nighttime. So basically, you sleep early in order to wake up early. So this is something、um, it, I find really useful.、Um, I usually be in bed by 10:30. Uh, after following this routine for a while, you're going to sleep much earlier. You're gonna feel sleepy at 10:30, so you'll get used to it.、Um, if it if it helps, you can eat a healthy dinner.、Um, I don't recommend eating a heavy dinner, but just a healthy dinner will do. It might help you, you know, with a bit of food coma.、Um, and if you're really Having a difficult time waking up early, you can place your alarm clock at the furthest point of your room or at the end of your bed. So when the alarm rings, this forces you to get up and turn off the alarm. So this will help you wake up early. And last but not least, you open your window blinds or put your bed next to your window. So when the morning comes, the sun will shine directly at your face and it'll help you wake up easier. Now the at six o'clock, and so the moment you wake up for thirty minutes, you are going to find reading and video resources of your field of expertise. So for my example, I am a developer. I usually like to read and watch videos about you know software development or things that relate to my job, where things that I'm interested in that will help me be better at it. So, to help you do that, I divided the. There are three places you can find to help you find resources. So this is the part of the morning where you gather resource. You're not reading any of these things, but you're just going through、um, these lists and then put them and store them for later. The first place resource I would like to go to is Twitter.、Um, I don't use Twitter much for conversation or like real time、uh, tweets. The people that I follow are mostly、um, digest accounts or accounts that usually tweet high quality articles about engineering or software development. So I've listed them on the right here, where you can check them out. And these are the accounts that I suggest you follow to get、uh, some really nice digest. Of、uh, resources on the web, I also recommend following the engineering blogs of popular software companies.、Uh, these are the companies where they usually blog about how they accomplish a certain feature on their website, and they write about behind the scenes. So it's really interesting to me. So I will follow these things. And what you do is you use the favorite or like feature of Twitter. So when you click on like, it will appear in your likes list. Where you can reference them later. So when you're on the subway or when you know later on in the morning routine, you can easily go there and then pick the article and start reading them. The other tool I like very much is called Pocket. Pocket allows you to 
find an article and then save them for later. It also strips out the web page to its minimal form so you only get the article body so you can start reading. It also allows you to read offline so you can save it, save the article and then start reading when you don't, e when you don't have internet connection such as when you're on the subway. The third resource that I like a lot is called it's YouTube. You can actually go to YouTube and there are a lot of video tutorials. Um, not plugging or anything, but Pentaco also has a, we do a lot of video tutorials here. You can basically click on the bottom right of the video thumbnail. You see a watch later icon. You click on that and it will store these videos in a playlist called watch later. So you can go there later on and um, watch the videos when you can. So these three resources are what I use to uh, gather, you know, things to read later. The next part of the morning routine is exercise with videos. So let me explain what this means. Exercise is when you, um, in the morning, you start by doing some stretches. So basic stretch to warm up. And then what I would do is uh, basic jumping jacks for about 20 or 40 times. And then, based on the time of the day, I do um, different routines for your body. So this is not like a heavy bodybuilder routine. This is So you can accomplish most of these things by a set of dumbbells or a set of barbell. You can get them for less than $100 uh, on, the, on the web. So you will stretch for five minutes, and then you do cardio, some sort of cardio, it's either you know jumping jacks or jump ropes or things like that. For a few minutes and then sit-ups I you know try to do a hundred sit-ups not every day but every other day and then for each different days you work on different body parts so like arms shoulder backs chest triceps and legs um, try to give a rest for every other day so you do these things um, they're not very hard to do you can google them and you'll see many um, pictures or videos on how to perform these exercises so the key is you do these exercises while watching the YouTube videos that you saved. So this allows you to focus on the video on the video more than the exercise. I know a lot of people don't like to exercise, but if you can focus your attention on the video, the exercise becomes secondary. And before you know it, you start to get used to it and then in the end it just it actually more it becomes very fun. So I suggest you do that and this will help you get more fit and you know be just like wakes you up too so it's, it helps you start your day. At 7 o'clock that's when you start your silent reading process. Remember the articles that we saved earlier through Pocket or Twitter? You start um, picking articles and going go off on that list and start reading them for 30 minutes. So if you uh, living in a distracting area where there's not a noise, you can buy a noise canceling headphone, put it on, and start reading. So read these things for 30 minutes. And then at 7.30 to 8 o'clock, you start your personal projects. So it's important to have personal projects on the side to help ensure you um, continue your growth as a, as a person. It also forces you to get motivated about something. And personal projects are fun. As a developer, you you know you like to experiment with new technologies, and sometimes your job won't allow you to have time to do this. So you can do these uh, these things on this time, and then who knows? You may you may create something, you know, that changes the world, like Facebook or Twitter. So it's really good that you dedicate some time to spend on your personal projects. And then at 8 o'clock, it's when you eat breakfast, take shower, or go to work or school. Um, this is the easiest. Always eat a healthy breakfast um, to help replenish your mind. So this is um, this routine will you you can tailor that around your time. So if you let's say you start your work, you're working at 10 o'clock, then you don't have to wake up at six. But I suggest still suggest you wake up at six to just to get that morning uh, serenity going so um, I don't like this I'm not guaranteeing this routine will work for everybody but it's something that I've been following and it has worked for me so 
I challenge you to try this for a week and see how if you can spot the difference in your you know every day it's like for me after this routine I had to work you are already in a state of mind where you're ready to do work and you will definitely notice a difference in your performance so I highly suggest you give this a try and let me know in the comments below and see if this helps you so thanks for watching and please like or subscribe our channel and then make sure you visit our website for more tutorials and for in full uh, transcript. Thank you.